Good morning Celtic fans and welcome to this morning's One Celtic Fans View YouTube channel for the Celtic FC News this morning. I talk about James Forrest's strike at the Tony Macaroni Stadium yesterday as he makes it 13 consecutive top flight seasons scoring for Celtic FC. Why has that boy never had a testimonial yet? He's been here for over 13 seasons. Anyway, Tottenham Hotspur loanee Cameron Carter-Vickers speaks out about the pressure of playing for Celtic and I take a story from a Spurs website because you'll find that really interesting on the way that Spurs are actually looking at Cameron Carter-Vickers or certainly some of the supporters anyway and Chris Sutton, Chris Sutton is left buzzing after a Celtic dismantle at Livingston yesterday. That was just what the team needed and what the support needed. Anyway, back to James Forrest. James Forrest set a target of being a milestone man and says Angie Postacoglu as his side stamp up that an authoritative authoritarian they basically just they, they ran the rule over Livingston yesterday they played the way they should have played anyway the Scotland international is only four goals away from 100 goals but he admits the overriding feeling was just one of relief scoring yesterday the Celtic ace is adamant that he's more pleased at pushing his side back clear top of the premiership than you know, his own landmarks at scoring goals. He really needs to get to that 100, 13 seasons, 13 years. I can remember when James Forrest came through, you know, and being at the first, I'm positive I would have been at the first game because I was going to games every week then. Anyway, Forrest's effort moved him on to 96 goals in total for the club as he edges towards the illustrious 100 goal club at Celtic. The 30 year old was ecstatic at making the mark and was just relieved. Someone told him that it was 13 seasons a couple of months ago. He's felt that it could have been a lot more, he could have had a lot more chances and he could have had a lot more goals, but taking them sometimes harder to get chances to go in. You've got to remember that James is coming off the wing. For getting 100 goals for a winger for Celtic is a fantastic amount, and fair enough, he's been here a long time. He's a player that a lot of players, a lot of Celtic fans seem to give a lot of stick at, and you have to remember, you know, he probably had. Could have been times he could have moved on, but he's been he's stuck with Celtic for 13 years now, and he's got more trophies than what Rangers have got years in existence, put it that way. The manager says, he always says that it's keeping the, in the right areas, the goal will come, and he'll be able to add to his goals. It's always been a target to get to the hundreds goals. When I scored my last goal, which seems to be some while ago now, when you're playing with such good players in the squad, you're going to get chances and it will come down to whether he takes some or whether he doesn't. He managed to get one today, so hopefully he can keep adding towards the end of the season. It'll be a fantastic result if he can get these four goals in the next eight games. And not only do we win the league, but James Forrest gets to that 100 goal mark. Normally afterwards you talk about stuff you have done. I know it's not easy. I'm not going to say when I will score the four. I'm just going to keep working hard and trying to add to them in the upcoming games. That's all you want as a Celtic player, isn't it? You just want to just keep it going and just, you know, just get the goals. Get the goals, son. That's it. Anyway, on to Cameron Carter Vickers. I picked this up from a, a Spurs site, and Celtic fans will love this. Um, and they might be a bit scared, actually, about the Cameron Carter Vickers story. In a conversation with Sky Sports, the Tottenham Hotspur Cameron Carter Vickers, the loanee, shed light on the mentality to re required to play for Celtic. The 24 year old has been dependable presence at the back for the hoops alongside Carl Starfield. He put in a pivotal performance yesterday and he played a crucial role in keeping Celtic at the top of the Premiership at the moment. The Celtic pl loan player went on to say when you play for Celtic or Sevco, there's little margin for error. There are a lot of weeks where we've had midweek games and the games at the weekend, so it's a tough mentality to cope with that pressure. The American football player has pre previously been on loan with clubs like Sheffield United, Swansea and Bournemouth, and he's never really cemented that his position in the squad. Either has he done that at Spurs. With that being said, you remember this comes from a, a Spurs fan site, so with that being said, it seems to have got some value. he seems to have got some valuable minutes under his belt. Carter Vickers has bagged uh, three goals and clocked one ass and a few assists in his 35 matches across all competitions for Celtic so far. Should the 24-year-old continue to impress with the Scottish club, Celtic, Conte could be tempted to bring him back to number 17 to give him a fair opportunity. The American professional football player could be used in domestic competitions as a launch pad, 
a launch pad for his regular place in the Spurs squad. What do you think of that, Celtic fans? Spurs are actually Spurs fans are now actually talking about bringing him back and bringing him back into the squad and keeping him as a player. That would be devastating for Celtic. Celtic have really came on this season with having him in the team. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Debate this one out in the comments. Should Cameron Carter Vickers go back to Spurs to get try and get a chance to get back in the first team, or should Celtic really be pushing them to sign for Celtic? Anyway, going on to Celtic FC, Chris Sutton has been left singing praises for near bitten Dyson Maida and Jota after watching the Celtic game yesterday as Celtic dismantled Livingston. Celtic were on top form yesterday afternoon as they downed the lines with a three a three one six success and you can have to say it was a fantastic game as far as Celtic were concerned. Celtic moved three points clear of Rangers once again in what was becoming a real good race for the title this season although you know should it be as close Celtic should really be a lot further if you ask me we should really be I mean if you, there's, there's points that we've dropped this season where you think if we had won those games but we are hitting top form at the right time. Yesterday was always going to be a massive test for our title credentials and we managed to win at Livingston. We haven't managed to win there since the promotion back in the 2017-2018 season. We haven't won there since 2007 and after watching that yesterday, Crutton Sutton had the following to say on Twitter. He says, really accomplished performance on a plastic pitch. That pitch was terrible yesterday. Um, Near Bitten doesn't get a lot of praise but he was absolutely outstanding Maida's work is tirelessly and he got the reward with a goal and Jota is always a, a real threat excellent early on, a big three points said Chris Sutton, the ex-Celtic player and that's really it it's really Celtic's league to lose now but I can't really see that happening let's all see what happens in the next month on the roll up to the Sevco game we beat Sevco and that's it, it's basically it's our league, it's in the bag and on that note Celtic fans have an absolute fantastic day and I shall see you on the next video.